The Business Courier front page centerpiece this week is all about helping you find what you need. The theme is our book of lists, which subscribers will get in the mail this week. Each list in our book is ranked from number one to number 25. There's so much information in the book of lists that we thought we'd pull out a few highlights to get you started focusing on some of the people at the top of the lists that we think you should watch in 2014. Cincinnati's largest law firm has a new leader, Jim Sauer, an 11-year Deloitte veteran, took over the managing partner spot from Jim Ellerhorst. He tells us he plans to continue to expand Deloitte's local presence. Our list of largest auto dealers had a shakeup too, with Jeff Weiler Automotive family taking over the top spot from Performance Automotive Network. Pent-up demand from the recession has loosened and apparently brought buyers to Weiler's lots in force. We wondered all year who the Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber would name as its new CEO. They answered the question by hiring Brian Carley. The Cincinnati Chamber is the largest in our region and the fifth largest in the United States. Carley told us he's going to work on boosting access to capital for entrepreneurs. University of Cincinnati President Santa Ono seems to be universally loved by students and by the community. UC broke another enrollment record in the fall, welcoming 43,000 students. We'll be closely watching Ono's quest to make UC the hottest college in America. Well, if you're a small business owner looking for a loan, you should check out page 68 of the Book of Lists. Landing at the number one spot on the list of SBA lenders is Huntington National Bank, which has a new local chief in Kevin Jones. Jones told us the bank has always been strong with small businesses. He is looking to build on that reputation. The Kroger Company is both Cincinnati's largest public company and the largest employer. CEO Dave Dillon is stepping down, and Rodney McMullen, who's moved from the ranks or through the ranks at Kroger, steps into that key position. Dillon has said that McMullen brings a new energy that should be a shot in the arm to the nation's top grocer. The largest employer in northern Kentucky is St. Elizabeth Healthcare, headed by CEO John Dubas. The system announced earlier this month a partnership with TriHealth to lower costs for patients and employers. They also plan to expand into the insurance industry. At the top of our fastest growing private companies list sits Legion Logistics, headed by co-owner Lacey Starling. The company grew revenue nearly 2,000% from 2010 to 2012. Uh, our largest firm, Advanced Pierre Foods, made a significant hire at CEO this year. John Simons Jr. has 20 years experience in food, agribusiness, and consumer products. At $1.6 billion in revenue already, we'll be watching to see what moves Simon will make to further expand the food manufacturing firm. Hightower's Petroleum, headed by Stephen Hightower, topped our list of minority-owned businesses and was ranked on both the largest private companies list and the list of fastest growing. The company recently launched HP Energy, which designs and installs energy-efficient systems. Well, that's just part of our list. Be sure to check out the insert.